New at five, hundreds of student athletes at Stanford protesting sweeping cuts to the university's athletic department. You see, at the height of the pandemic, Stanford cut 11 varsity sports teams. KPI X 5s Devin Feely joins us live from the Stanford campus with more on the fight to save those sports programs. Devin? Yeah, these student athletes are pretty upset. They want the university to reverse their decision. Now, Stanford says they had to make these changes because they were staring at a growing deficit in their athletic department. But the students say the university has deep pockets and they're just not buying that explanation. Outside the university president's office, Stanford students raising their voices in protest, refusing to accept cuts to nearly a dozen athletic programs quietly. It just becomes so much more real when you have a crowd of people who are supporting this effort out in front of the administration saying, this is our livelihood, these are our dreams, please don't cut them, please listen to us. Claire Smythe is a member of the women's lightweight rowing team, one of 11 varsity sports cut by the university in July, including men's volleyball, wrestling, field hockey, and synchronized swimming, just to name a few. Many student athletes say they feel betrayed by the university's decision, writing messages in chalk outside the president's office like, you can't cut me and we belong. They lied to us, so, um, you know, I don't really know what they can do besides reinstate these programs to begin to mend that relationship that they have broken. Stanford announced the cuts in an open letter posted on July 8th, claiming the athletic department was facing a, quote, serious and growing financial challenge, one only exacerbated by the pandemic. But that's an argument that many students just aren't buying. And as far as I'm concerned, with the $29 billion endowment, there is no figure that's too large to save these 11 communities, that these 11 sports that have been cut. There's evidence the pressure campaign may be working. The president met with the board of trustees behind closed doors to discuss the situation. And a university spokesperson says the decision about whether or not to reinstate the teams could be announced in the coming weeks. Now, a number of these sports programs have launched their own uh, fundraising campaigns with varying degrees of success. That's kind of their effort to ensure that these programs continue regardless of what the university decides ultimately to do. And one other thing that I do want to mention, what may have looked like spray paint in that story was actually a form of chalk. So the students sprayed those messages on the wall there, and then about 30 minutes later, they came back with water buckets and cleaned it up. At Stanford, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.